Okay, so today I want to talk about a fun use case with DDX Bricks and Domo. Um, a common question or concern I get is I feel like I don't always get enough feedback from my users about how they're using Domo, how the dashboards are going, what questions they have. And so most of the time we're used to ticketing systems like Jira or money.com, things like that, where we'll ask users to go over there, build out a ticket for us for the data team, and then come back and uh, into Domo and explain what, what needs to be done. And so today I actually built a quick brick where basically it is a ticket request form where you, where um, the idea is that you'll put it on a dashboard at the bottom and basically users can submit their tickets that then get submitted to a Domo data set via AppDB and then uploaded to Domo. And then the data team can go and take a look at these, uh, at these requests as they come in. I think like reducing the pain when it comes to submitting a ticket could be really powerful. And so in this case, I think context switching is helpful. Now, this is actually a pretty easy brick, but I think it's powerful still because I've seen over the last few years that sometimes I have, you know, sometimes we get way too much information from Domo users and sometimes we don't get, don't get it nearly enough, right? And so in this case, this reduces context switching as well. So instead of a user having to go in to a different system like Jira and put in a ticket, explain what the problem is with Domo, copy and paste and all such, they can actually just come here on the dashboard, explain what their problem is, explain what the issue is and then submit it. And actually, because it's a DDX brick, it's gonna be able to save things such as their name and the page that they're on um, because we're able to utilize these special Domo uh, environment variables. And so I'm gonna do a demo here real quick where I'm on two different dashboards and I put this button here. So let's just do this where I am going to put in some feedback that I have. Um, so let's put it in here and let's come over to our Snowflake dashboard and put in some other feedback we have. Put it in here, click save. And now if I come over here, we can see that instantaneously our AppDB data set is being prepared. And if I come in here to data and scroll down, I can see that we have our description of the ticket. We also have the page ID as well as who submitted it, right? So this is all automatic. If you remember, I did not have to put in the page ID or requester as part of the form. And so that's pretty helpful, like I said, with context. And then we get that. And then also if you want to take it one step further, I put a data set alert on this data set anytime a new row is added it actually is going to alert me in my Slack Domo channel that I have a new data team request, right? And so, you know, this came in right away. I can click here and then get all the context I need, come here and I can get a timestamp of what the request is, um, as well as the description and who did and all that. As I mentioned before, this brick helps uh, leverages the Domo environment variables. And so if you're curious about what those are, um, I can do a quick tutorial here where I'll come into my DDX brick and we are going to do a quick console log to display our environment variables. So in this case, I'm just going to take this up, console.log.demo.env. So now if I just inspect and come to the console and let's click run real quick, we will get back a payload. In this case, right, we can see this is all of the different um, things about our demo environment variable, right? It has the user, my ID, if this was on a page, there's a, there would also be a page ID key in here of this object. And so you're able to take this and put it into our uh, AppDB data set. And so, like I said before, like this is, this is where the, the real power comes in with a DDX brick. You could definitely do this. Um, if you've had experience with this, you could do a Google um, Drive iframe app where we easily create a form using uh, like a form builder. And like I said, this, this would work great too. The limitations here is that Google Sheets, right, it can't detect who it is. So you'd have to have the user ask them to put in their name again. They'd have to put in the page that they're on. Um, and then also in terms of update time, it could be a little slower, right? Maybe you have Google Sheets updating every hour. So your data team request could come in. There could be some latency there. And so that's a limitation. But again, the idea here is just getting more information. Um, we want our Domo users to give us more feedback. You know, sometimes it's too much and sometimes it's too little. Um, I found it kind of depends on the organization. But um, yeah, if you're interested in trying out this brick, what I did is I actually just modified the DDX form and data set brick. This one is pretty easy because it'll create an AppDB data set for you. And then I have some example code on GitHub, which I'll link in this video. So I'll make this a public repo. Basically, you would just copy and paste the um, HTML, J, JavaScript, and CSS into the brick that you download, and then it should be up and running. So yeah, it's just a fun example of DDX bricks, how they can be powerful, um, fun ways to use them. So thanks.